In the last video in this course, I'm going to work with view. First of all, I must add a hidden field to the form that will keep XSRF token. I will not explain it now, but it is about increasing the security of our application. By default, Laravel requires that our form has such a token. Instead of writing this element manually, we are simply using Laravel helper function and template engine like this. And this function is going to create such hidden HTML input. And we can check it in the source of the site and after refreshing we can see that it is here. I will remind you once again, these two pairs of curly braces are replacement of PHP tags like this. And this is exactly the same as this. The last thing that has been left to us is to list the tasks in the for each loop. The for each loop needs to list all tasks from the database. For this purpose, of course, I have a PHP variable called tasks. I'm gonna cut these example elements and I can check what is gonna happen. There are no tasks because we did, we did not add any to the database yet. I'm gonna do this later. First of all, I need to check the status of the task by checking the status column. I'm gonna do this using Laravel template engine. So I will say if task status, which means if it is true, then show me CSS checked class. And I'm going to end it with end statement. Here I'm going to type the content of the task. Let's do now the removal link. Uh, I'm gonna do this by using the route helper function, which is gonna have two arguments. The first one is the name of our route. And the second is the ID of the currently looped task. Lee elements are non-clickable, so I have to add some links. In order for an element to be clickable, we can make, for example, an on-click event. The route is gonna be almost identical with this route, responsible for deleting. It is gonna be update route. Our application is ready. We have our to-do list application working.